A percutaneous nephrolithotomy is a surgical procedure. The surgeon makes a small incision, about the size of a dime, in your back and inserts a tube directly into your kidney. This allows us to break up and remove the stones. This procedure requires an overnight observation, and most patients will go home the next day. For this procedure, you will have general anesthesia, which means you will be asleep during the surgery. If you are on blood thinners, you must be able to stop taking them before this procedure. This procedure usually requires a stent. A stent is a soft, hollow tube about 10 to 12 inches long and made of a flexible plastic material. The stent is placed in the ureter to hold it open. The stent is usually removed within one week after the nephrolithotomy during a brief in-office procedure. For many patients, a stent can cause irritation of the bladder and ureter, which can cause these symptoms. Cramping, discomfort and back pain when you urinate, blood in the urine, frequent urination, urinary urgency, and bladder pain. These symptoms can be managed with medication. The benefit of percutaneous nephrolithotomy is it has the highest success rate for kidney stone removal and can clear most kidney stones with one procedure. These are the risks of percutaneous nephrolithotomy. There are higher risks with a percutaneous nephrolithotomy than with any other procedures. There is a one in 100 or 1% 1 risk of serious bleeding for which you would need a blood transfusion. There is a 1 in 100 or 1% 1 risk of fluid buildup around the lungs. If that happens, we would need to insert a needle or tube to drain the fluid. And there is a small risk of sepsis, which is a serious infection. You can usually return to your normal activities one to two weeks after a percutaneous nephrolithotomy.